Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, Nexus7root.com and uh, today I'm going to show you how to install the latest 4.1.2 uh, Android 4.1.2 on your Nexus 7 if you're on a custom ROM um, you can also, there should be a bunch of custom ROMs on uh, XTA forums if you want to just go grab and go ahead and uh, grab a 4.1.2 version of your custom ROM uh, but I also want to make this video in case you want to unroot your Nexus 7 back to stock ROM very easy to do um, go ahead and turn it off First, you can do this on Windows, Mac, or Linux. Um, I included Fastboot for Mac or Linux or Windows, and uh, very easy to do. Turn off your Nexus 7 first, and uh, go ahead and hold down volume down and the power button when your Nexus 7 turns off. And you'll get the screen. Um, go ahead and plug a micro USB cable to your computer. And then uh, let's go to our computer. Next, you'll have to download this file called Nakasi. Nakasi, that's like the code name for your uh, Nexus 7. Blah blah dot zip, 54k blah blah dot zip. Use like a program like 7zip. I use Alzip, which is a Korean compression program. Unzip it. Um, you'll get a folder called uh, Nakasi 54k blah blah dot zip. All right. Go in there. There's another folder in there, and th there's uh, another folder in there. The two files you need are those two files right here, bootloader and image Nikasi right there. Alright, next you'll need to copy these, uh, sometimes there's actually a uh, um, radio too, but this one doesn't come with radio. So go ahead and uh, select both. You can use the control key and do a copy. And then next you'll need to also download uh, this file called fastboot.zip. Unzip it, this file right here. Uh, extract it and you'll get a folder called fastboot here. Which requires, which has all the files you need for Fastboot's Windows, Fastboot Linux, and Fastboot Mac. Go ahead and paste those two files here. Um, go ahead and paste. Now I've got the image file and the actual stock ROM file. Actually, the bootloader and the stock ROM. And then next, we're going to open up a command prompt in Windows. Uh, for me, it's going to start search and type C CMD. And uh, if you're on Mac or Linux, if you don't know how to get into uh, terminal. Just Google how to get into terminal for Mac or Linux. And uh, basically, you're going to go into this directory. Usually, it's going to be in your username, downloads folder, and fastboot. So I'm going to go to my download folder, see downloads, enter, and I'm going to type um, next cd space fastboot, enter, right? And next, what you're going to type is um, fastboot. Uh, space flash space bootloader space uh, bootloader blah blah dot img that's the same file name what I usually do is I actually type the b-o-t-l-o-a and I hit the tap and it will fill in for you so you don't make any mistakes and hit enter All right, and this will flash the new bootloader required for the Android 4.1.2 alright and when that's flashed, um, you're going to type fastboot. Oh, also for Mac or Linux, I forgot to um, mention this. Do a chmod space sev, uh, star space, no, sorry, 75 uh, chmod space 755 star and hit enter before you do any of these commands. Just once, all right? That'll change the permissions. And also, um, you'll want to replace any of these fastboot commands with dot slash fastboot um, dash Mac or dash Linux alright and then let me do the next one we'll want to reboot the bootloader so we're gonna do bootloader so if I was on a Linux computer I would do that but since I'm not I'm just gonna erase all this and just do fast do and this will reboot your Nexus 7 into the same bootloader situation uh, we just have to do this after flashing something we have to do this uh, that won't mess up thing mess up anything so next we're gonna actually flash the image this one here, image in the Kasi, whatever. Um, just type fastboot space uh, minus w space update space and type image and hit the tab key and we'll fill in for you. That's the actual image. Hit enter and this will flash uh, the actual 4.1.2 ROM stock ROM to your Nexus 7. Um, now, if you're if you're on a stock ROM, you don't have to do this. You can just do an OTA update. But I know a lot of you who are rooted, you're probably on some code name ROM or some custom ROM, 
and the, you probably want to check out the official you know 4.1.2 before you know you try it on a custom ROM um, or you can just jump straight to a custom ROM with Android 4.1.2 that's good too but I just want to leave up this video so uh, if you want to unroot back to uh, 4.1.2 then you can use this method and uh, once this is done if you want to also lock your bootloader you can type fastboot space oem space lock that will lock your nexus 7 um, I'm not gonna do it in this video I did it on the previous video which gets you back to I think Android 4.1.1 um, I'll have a link to that also in my uh, blog post so you can check that out if you're trying to return your Nexus 7 for warranty uh, but this will get you on stock Nexus 7 Android 4.1.2 and also you'll have to reroute it and routing should be identical to, um, to the previous version so you can follow that again um, so there's no need to you know there's no new root method it's the same it's the same you know because um, it's the same because it use the root method uses recovery to flash the super user. So anyway, this will be done. I'll be back when this is done. So it's almost done. And also, this might erase everything, um, your user data and settings and apps, not the contents of your internal storage. So just be aware of that. Um, so just be aware of that. And also, it will erase everything if you do lock your bootloader. Uh, but I'm not gonna actually show you how to do that in this video because I you know I want to keep my stuff and I just want to try out 4.1.2 and see what it's like you know what's improved uh, I heard it's not that much but you know so it's almost done this is uh, this is done my my next seven is rebooting you can take the USB cable out and that's how you you know update it to the 4.1.2 from a custom ROM or you know if you just want to unroot. I'll be I'll change my camera angle here. There we go, it's booting and I'll be back uh, when this completely boots. Hi folks, so it rebooted and it did erase all my settings and apps since I've got the start message here. Um but I can see I think this has changed before I didn't have this uh bunch of languages here. Actually let's check out all the languages here. Does that have Korean? Yeah. It should. Yeah there's even Arabic um, ba -da 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 -da. where's Korean? Yeah, there we go. There's Korean right there. All right, let's go to English. Um, since there we go, and let me sign in real quick. All right, folks. So I did um connect to the internet. I didn't sign in yet, but um, it is on Android four dot one dot two. There you go. And uh, that's how you install four dot one dot two. And uh, this will erase all your settings and apps. So just be aware. Just use Titanium Backup app to back up all of your apps, and uh, um, that way you'll have apps. But um, you know, there you go. And if you want to go further, I'll have a link uh, in my on my website to the older method, which shows you, or I'll, I'll put the commands down where you can actually lock the bootloader if you're returning for a warranty. That's how you can update to 4.1.2. I'm gonna go play with it for a little bit. And I'll have another video up um, showing what's the different things are. Anyway, go enjoy your Android 4.1.2. If you have a Nexus 7, as always, don't forget to sign up for my email list at nexus7root.com. We update you once a week with Ron of the Week tips, hacks, and more. Also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and others. If you need help with your phone, or I mean your tablet, and also if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. And uh, subscribe button up there if you have. Thanks a lot. And uh, stay high on Android. Um, looks actually pretty solid. Yeah. See y'all later.